Okay, so this is part three, and uh, let's uh, look at uh, adding more a few more details here. Uh, I think we can make uh, this part here a bit more interesting. So let me select this Shift D and turn it into its own object. Let me separate this, and uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's first turn off uh, the array for a second and uh, let's see let's reset uh, the cursor at uh, the pivot point origin 3d cursor apply and then let's see what we can do for this part here Um, if I added a loop here, and uh, added a loop cut here, just need to push this in a bit. Also, you can select uh, this portion here, delete that, and uh, use the mirror modifier. So if I selected as it, this part, I can extrude along the normals <coughs> like this to get something like this. But I think this is too much. So maybe also I can reduce uh, this here. I'm double tapping G to slide the edge so extrude along numbers something like that and uh, need to remove uh, these extra faces if we have that I think I can also Delete this part. Maybe not yet. Can just add a loop around here. Maybe delete this part. Select this edge. Extrude that. Make sure that I have clipping turned on. this corner off with a bevel something like that and I also let me make this edge rounded as well and smooth shading now this edge can be sharp can stay sharp so okay with that just need to remove maybe a few doubles and then maybe we can add a screen around here uh, to show I don't know uh, the tunnel number or the colleague number or something so but uh, these portions here can be deleted now if we unhide just need to extend this a bit forward let's go into edit mode bring this a bit forward like that then we need, uh, let me see, we need to apply the mirror, shift S cursor to selected, so that will reset the origin to be in the center of our collider. so, and then now we can apply the mirror, 
and add the array uh, for the y offset with the y offset so that we can position these I think I don't know. I don't know if uh, let, let's first. I don't know if I like this inside part because I I'm thinking maybe this can be rubber. Let's increase this the array count here. The maybe we can select. Let's see what what happens if we extrude this and we just delete these faces hmm nah. let's keep them uh, make sure we have auto smooth turned on Let me see let me try something here uh, if I separate this part uh, let me remove uh, the array and the mirror so we have something like this shift a and also let me make sure that these end guns are taken are taken care of let me just Join this. Add more resolution there, and uh, more resolution there, and here. Uh, what I want to use, I want to use the cloth uh, modifier to see if I can get some interesting uh, details here. So. So if we select uh, the outer loop, uh, like that, and uh, also this part here, go to data and add a vertex group, assign that. So if we go to weight, you can see we have that. If we turn this into a cloth, Uh, turn on pinning so where is that shape and uh, select our group as uh, the pinning group playback we don't really see a lot so we just need to add a force field around here uh, increase the force to about 50 and uh, let's see how that looks Yes, so there is a few details, but uh, we're not getting a lot of wrinkles here. So let's see. You can see that. Uh, so we need a few more resolution. We think we need more resolution. So I'll subdivide this a few times uh, using simple subdivide playback. You can see. But it's still, but still, we're not getting uh, that much wrinkles. So let me see. Let me see. How about if we increased uh, this force to one to about one hundred? They moved it around. I think we need to reduce uh, some of the weight in different areas. You can see. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I need to subtract and we reduce the, the strength a bit. See, we don't want every area to be that red. So I 
and uh, you want some spots to have some greenish area so now let's see how this would look we're not getting enough wrinkles yet so let's see if we reduce the weight even further Now we're getting some wrinkles, but uh, uh, this part here needs to be pinned. Uh, so let's increase the, uh, that part. And that, playback. Uh, let's, let me try this and see. Uh, if I go to edit mode, extrude this I think we we also need to remove let me delete this part because I don't think they're adding much it's adding much so I think we also need to remove or reduce uh, the gravity so we need to go under field weights and uh, reduce the gravity try doubling up uh, the force and see let me duplicate uh, this force down here and see if, if it will have any effect now let me try subdividing this even further and see yes yeah, so we are getting better wrinkles now uh, the problem is that uh, this part here is falling down because of gravity so what I'm going to do is uh, let me add A square like this rotate this extrude this in like that just to follow the shape and uh, add a loop cut and be able to eat to make it smooth so something like that and I will animate this so at around at around here you can animate it to push everything a bit in like that so maybe add a few loops here scale these maybe push these in a bit and uh, round off uh, this part by a bevel and I also I'm just experimenting to see what we can get here so something like that so let's let's play back this and see ah oh, sorry we need to give this a collision modifier and see what happens okay so it's coming in and uh, everything looks great yeah we are getting the wrinkles we want and uh, 
may not be as smooth but uh, it's okay it will work so let's stop it there and then go to the, uh, the object apply the multi resolution apply the collision now we can delete this part here you can see what we have just need to turn on smoothing smooth smooth shading and uh, right now there are a lot of polygons uh, that are not necessary so we are going to use the decimate modifier so decimate and reduce uh, the resolution so that we only have what we need and uh, on top of that we'll add a subdivision surface and now we can apply the decimate you can see we only have uh, the resolution where we want it I don't know we don't even we may not even need uh, that uh, subdivision surfaces so then you can see what we have so we have a few wrinkles there and uh, we can push this down a bit select this portion turn on proportional editing and push that in and uh, I think we can scale this out as well like that uh, same here add uh, the array and put this into position so two three also we can use the mirror modifier to mirror this on the other axis let me pull back uh, the camera a bit Uh, let's go under shading and uh, let's see let's see let's let's see what we have yeah so this is what we have done so far and uh, i'll see you in the next lesson